coming soon to theaters. On his first trip to Paris, Andy McDermott is looking for a little danger. Andy! Do it. I'm sure you guys are stunned. You'll never talk. But tonight... Andy, this is madness. You're gonna get yourself killed. There's nothing more dangerous... ...than falling... ...for the wrong girl. No! Don't! Talk about the woman of my dreams. She's obviously whack. Kind of girl jumps off the Eiffel Tower has issues, man. Major issues. You mustn't get involved. It's much too dangerous, believe me. We must go before it's too late. I was attacked by this big wild dog. You were bit. You're already changing. It was not a dog. It was a werewolf. <laughs> now you have become one too. <laughs> I'm not a wolf. An American werewolf in Paris. Ow. Life is all a matter of perspective. You really learn that as a doctor. So if your life is going along well and you find yourself walking with two guys that look like Metallica rejects, you might think it was a bad day. Mr. Blossom will be with you in a minute. On the other hand, if your life was in the toilet, you could say, what the hell, I am at the beach. Dr. Eugene Sands. Are you gonna hurt me? Are you asking because you're afraid or because you want me to? I'm just trying to plan my day. I don't know what I'm doing here. The dancing. Get him up on the table. As long as bumps you. I need a clean knife and some clean towels. Sterilize that. I was so knocked out by what you did last night. I said, I gotta meet this guy. I can make you a doctor again. I am not a doctor. I no longer have a license. I'm giving you license. It's a choice that's been offered to many men. Be a slave in heaven or a star in hell. And hell does not always look like hell. On a good day, it can look a lot like L.A. It's yours! You think I'm criminal? I think you're about as much a criminal as I am a doctor. Oh, uh, the doctor inflamed you in some way I should be concerned about. I want my girl back. He's dead. Excellent. I'll see what I can do. Coming soon to video cassette. Remember the prom? You got so thin by then. I was so lucky getting mono. That was like the best diet ever. <sighs> Meet Romy and Michelle. Remember that time I barfed from really bad Mexican food? So gross. I hate throwing up in public. Me too! Uh. They walk the walk. God, this underwear is totally riding up my butt. <laughs> they talk the talk. Romy, did you lose weight? Uh. All I've had to eat for the past six days are gummy bears, jelly beans, and candy corn. God, I wish I had your discipline. But at their high school reunion... Are you going? I'd rather put this out in my right eye. Um, okay. <laughs> they'll be in a class by themselves. We can go to the reunion and just pretend to be successful. Oh, my God. Siskel and Ebert give it two thumbs up. From this point on, we are sophisticated, successful career women. Jeffrey Lyons calls it hilarious. Which one of these guys will I have sex with at the reunion? 
Touchstone Pictures presents... Oh, oh, oh. That hurt, but it looked really good. Mira Sorvino. You have absolutely no proof that you're cuter. Okay, who lost their virginity first? Oh, big wow with your cousin Barry. I wouldn't brag about it. Lisa Kudrow. I'm sorry, I couldn't find my top. In the story of the blonde. What does this remind you of? Leading the blonde. I know, this lady is totally sick. Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. And what are you picking on us for, anyway? We are not the ones who got fat. We're pregnant, you half-wit. Well, I hope your babies all look like monkeys. <laughs>
music from the film Gross Point Blank, out now on London Records. And now, our feature presentation.